miss it on the video. Today we are going to be showing you our new Tacoma that we just got finished. And when I say just got finished, I mean like it got done like half an hour ago. This is a 2009 Toyota Tacoma. Same pretty much truck as a red truck that we have ourselves with just a couple little differences. So let's get into it. We're going to start off with the bumpers and sliders. This is the same bumper that we had on our red truck. It's got a little bit of stuff redesigned in it. We changed the cutouts for the lights. On this one particularly, I lowered the stinger a little bit. And we made these holes right here for recovery points a little bit bigger so you can fit you know, your D-rings, your soft shackles, maybe even like a toe strap in there. A little bit of everything. Next on this thing is our sliders. The exact same slider that's on our red truck. They work so good, there's really no point in changing the way they work. These sliders weld directly to the frame. We have four outriggers on them. We have three straight ones that go from the frame to here. The frame is plated where all of the outriggers land. In the rear, we've got this nice long one that goes from here all the way up to the back side of the chassis. Kind of stiffens everything up a little bit, or at least that's what I tell myself. And in the back of this thing, we have a slight variation from what's on our red truck. It's got our same bumper mount plates that go on the back of the frame that we sell on our online store. We just made it into a little bit more of a high clearance version. Uh, you can tell there's only one tube here instead of the two that we have on the red truck. That's just to give you a little bit of better departure angle when you're coming off rocks. I found myself hitting mine a lot. And although it is nice to have that little step right there, I think the added clearance is going to outweigh that. Since we did a four link on this thing, we had to figure out a solution for a fuel cell. The customer provided us with a Jeep Speed fuel cell. I think it's a 31 gallon cell. So we got this thing mounted into the bed with a little mount that we built. You can see here, six bolts holding the top of it down. And from here, you can obviously see we got the vent line, the return line, and the feed line, or vice versa. Got a little inline fuel filter here. And under the truck, you can see it comes through the bed. We got our fuel pump right here. And if you look right here, we actually use LS fuel rail adapter fittings to screw to the factory hard lines on this thing to where everything's nice and tight, nothing's going to come loose, and uh, everything's AN, no, no hose clamps on this thing, which is super important to us. Back up to the front of the truck. As per usual, this thing's on a 17-inch Battleborn Sierra beadlock, powder-coated black. Uh, I got a 40-inch tire on this thing. It's not a nitto, so we ain't even shouting out what this tire is. And this thing's just got our standard three link up front. This is an 05 Super Duty axle. It's got our high steer kit on it. It's got 538 Yukon gears. It's got an ARB air locker in it. 1550 chromoly shafts with these big old giant Brannock 1550 chromoly 300M, whatever they are, U joints. They're super fancy. Got some Warren hubs on this thing. Fox shocks, Fox bumps, all the usual stuff, fully rebuilt. Jets after cutting all the old brackets off, I think it only took them 20 hours on this one instead of 30 on that one before. If you remember a couple videos back, we four linked this truck on the channel. Obviously it's all done now, so you might have seen it, you might have not seen it. To go over it again, this is our new prototype four link system for the Sterling axle. So we've got a truss made for this thing. My buddy Tyler drew us some super sweet fabricated trailing arms that allow us to run a 14 inch shock under the bed. This setup gets about 18 or 19 inches of travel. I think it's bumped and strapped at 18 inches. The front's got about 11 and a half, 12. DK1 sway bar in the back. Same shock as the front, just longer, a Fox Race Series, 2.5 by 14. 2.0 by two inch stroke bump stops in the back. The rear end of this thing has 538s as well from Yukon, ARB air locker, still on the stock shafts. We'll see how long they last in this thing. I'm not sure the kind of life this thing's gonna live when it leaves here, but judging by the way it was brought to me, with all the pinstriping already, I don't think it's gonna have too nice of a life. So we'll see how long those stock shafts live. And that brings us on to the next part of the build, which is the Atlas 4 Speed. This thing's got a final drive of 11 to 1 on the transfer case. Far more than you're ever going to need, but man, if you ever want that control rock crawling to be going super slow, we got it. This thing's got the cable shifters in it. I think the rear case is a 3.8 to 1. The crawl box is a 2.7 to 1. I think it puts us at like 10.8 to 1 in total, but as you can see, it's a lot. So the inside of this thing is pretty basic. It's just a bone stock Tacoma. Just got a couple little goodies. 
The first thing we got here is our S-Pod mount built by my buddy Tyler. He designed these in 3D prints. He's in-house. We've got these available on our website as well. If you want to take a look or you can go on his website. I think it's TylerThomasEnterprises.com. Uh, he's got a ton of cool stuff. He's got these on there. The next things that we have here are the shifters for the Atlas. This is your front wheel and rear wheel high and low box. This is your shifter for the planetary box, which is going to be your it's additional high and low. If you don't know what this is, you probably shouldn't be driving a car, so I'm not even going to explain that one to you. Behind the back seat on the driver's side is where we got the ARB compressor mounted. This is a little mount that we make. If any of you are interested in these, let me know. I'm thinking about dropping these on the website next. They bolt into a bunch of factory spots. You see about the locker hookups are right here. I like to put a little loop in them just in case I got to service them or something happens and I need a little more line. That's why I do that. So moving under the hood, I kept it as simple as I could. I replaced the fuses for the ARB compressor with a breaker right here. Put a distribution block here where I ran a line from the battery over to the distribution block. This is where our winch hooked up. You can see where we tied in the breaker right there. Moving from the driver's side to the passenger side of the engine bay, we've got a wire loom running over here to the S-Pod and the fuses for the KC rock lights. This thing's pretty simple. I made a little plate that bolts to those three studs sticking out of the body right there. It's removable, easy to work on, and nice and tidy. Each fender on the vehicle has its own rock light. These are the KC Cyclones. These are clear rock lights. You can see in the back, we've got a little plate that bolts into some factory bed stuff to hold the rock light on each side. Under the truck, we've got two rock lights mounted across from each other on the chassis. That makes up the last two rock lights. Bottom of the truck's running our skid plate kit. You can see there's plenty of room for the four-speed Atlas to fit in there. Got our speedometer right here. This is removable. This is obviously something that we have for sale on our website. Full stainless manifold back exhaust, all the way from new flanges, new O2 sensors, bellows. Everything's converted to V-band. Running back here to the Borla XS Pro muffler. This is the same muffler we have on our Tacoma. I love the way they sound, so I just put them on every Tacoma we build. And that goes ahead and runs to right behind the rear axle where it dumps under the bed. All in all, I'm very, very happy with the outcome of this truck. We were able to do everything that we planned on doing. Everything came out super good. We had a couple things to touch up after it got finished, but it is finalized and ready to go home to its owner. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Talk some trash in the comments. Same thing I say every time. I should probably come up with something to say. Take care.